just a week after I was out last time scouting around. Uh, there's been a big change in the weather as far as what we had last weekend. Last weekend we were dealing with about 21, 22 degrees, fairly sunny. And it was good because it got the snow melting, it got the grass growing, it was kind of that jump start that we needed. It's been nice all week and it's kind of tapered off at the end of the week. We hit a bit of a front here. So it was gross Friday, yesterday wasn't great either. Today it was raining on and off this morning. It's supposed to rain on and off throughout the day. But right now the weather's kind of dropped off. It's about 9, 10 degrees and the sun's just starting to come out. So this is a good time right now. The bears, have been, they still feed out in the rain. Don't ever feel like you can't come out while it's raining and find anything because you know they've got to feed pretty well all day long so unless it's super warm and they're hiding in the trees you're going to find them kicking around but now that this weather has kind of cooled off a little bit and especially with the rain that's been going this morning they're going to be out and kicking around so i'm not going to waste a bunch of time here i've got the e-bike out today i borrowed that off a buddy of mine and give it a shot and see how it works a lot of spring bear hunting out here is hunting logging roads, looking for sign. There's, so there's a fair amount of road that has to be covered. E-bike's a nice thing because it gets you in the areas like we're going today that's locked off. You can't get into it with vehicles. But there's no active vehicle restriction on it. So e-bikes are safe to use. And it gets me back away from everybody else that's out here using it during the wet, nice weather on the weekends. So it opens up a lot bigger area than I might normally have access to. But they're nice, they're quiet, they allow you to cruise the road without making a bunch of rack and still cover a bunch of ground that beats the heck out of walking. So I'm gonna get set up here, I'm gonna get my stuff out, so I'm gonna hit the trail and hopefully we'll find something. Weather, like I said, about 9, 10 degrees right now. The sun's just starting to peek out behind the clouds. It's raining all morning, but we should be all right. So hopefully. Hey guys, so late morning update. Uh, it's about 11.30, just about. Um, still nothing as far as fresh bear sign goes. So I'm probably about 10k back into this valley right now. And it's, like I said earlier, it's locked up. There's nobody in here. It's been super quiet and just not even any sign. So keep plugging away, checking a bunch of the spurs. I've hiked into a bunch of spots here and checked up along the creek line um, and the, just came back to the bike here to actually swap out some camera gear. I found a herd of elk just up around the corner here so I'll see if I can't get some footage of them at least. So it's kind of cool. They transplanted elk up here you know, shoot a couple decades ago now but uh, now they really seem to be getting a foothold and they seem to be doing pretty well. So I always see sign up here. This is actually the first time I've found this particular herd so it's kind of cool but yeah i'm gonna shuffle back up there see if i can't get some footage if i haven't uh if they haven't caught on to me and share that with you guys all right bye. That was pretty cool. So they were all bedded down by the time I got back up here. So I think I got some decent footage of them. It's pretty cool to see. It was a decent sized herd, a couple of bulls in there, one nice herd bull. So unfortunately it's uh, not an open elk hunting area. So it uh, doesn't do me a heck of a lot of good, but they're cool to see. And they all look pretty healthy. So it's good to see that they wintered well and that they're doing well up here. So. As long as they keep getting a good foothold and the population keeps growing, 
we might uh, we might get an opening up here sooner rather than later, so that would be all right. The wind finally ended up shifting directions on me, and they caught wind of me and beetled on out of there. But keep plugging away. If they're relaxed and bedding down, I'm gonna doubt that there's a bear close by, so I'm gonna keep walking around and see if I can't turn one up. Alrighty, it is five after two. Uh, I did finally find a pile of bear scat, but it's been driven over. So I didn't notice it on the way in because it was fairly flat already. But um, that means it's at least a day and a half, two days old, but this looks like it's much older than that. So there's clearly one kicking around here. So I'm gonna, gonna set myself up. I'm gonna glass this little base in here while I have a lunch of champions here. Mr. Noodles keep me going. But that weather's, those clouds are starting to roll in. I have a feeling that weather's gonna turn on me this evening still, so. Figured I might as well grab something warm to eat now while I can and see how the evening fold, unfolds. It's kind of hard to tell, but I've bushwhacked my way up into the top of that basin here. So it actually opens up behind me here up into a draw and then doubles back into an older block in the back so the view is fantastic from up here so i may hang out for a little while and see if anything decides to pop out because i can see into this whole bowl into the next one and across the valley to the other side so but that alder and devil's club is what i just trudged through so Glad that the uh, the view was worth the effort. I was starting to second guess myself there for a little while. See if anything pops up. A slow news day. Just wanted to touch base quickly. So when I tell you guys to take a deactivated road, you know, the more deactivated the better. This is what I'm talking about. So there's five, four or five foot uh, saplings growing through most of it here. You look down here the amount of elk droppings elk sign it's here Turn you around here so there 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 up here just elk sign absolutely everywhere so not what we're hunting for right now this gives you an idea of where the animals hang out. They're always going to be just outside of where most people stop. So, get out and go for an adventure. You'll be amazed at what you find. Alright guys, it is 10 to 5. So, I've uh, given this block a fair bit of time. Uh, I watched it from the bottom for a half an hour while I was having lunch there. And then I worked my way up into the top of it and bushwhacked on to the top end of the bowl there and gave it another two hours and I'm just not if I was seeing more sign than one pile of scat on the road that's a couple days old I'd probably give it a little more time just because it's a really nice looking block and from the top end where I was there I could glass across the valley to where I saw that sign the other week and then I can get up in the top end at the back there's another little chute there but again, I'm just, besides a bunch of elk sign, I'm not seeing anything in here. And across the valley, even if I glass something up there, this time of day, the amount of power that's left in that bike, it would, uh, I'd have a hell of a time. I'm gonna keep dropping down the valley. We'll see if we can't, uh, if we can't stir something up here. Weather seems to have settled off, so I don't think it's gonna rain this evening. That's big. Things might be looking up. As you can tell, but I'm absolutely drenched right now. So, I found a big pile of scat down at the bottom. 
went a little farther on that trail, found another pile. And then about a half a click up, I picked up another one. And then about 300 yards past that, the road kind of dead-ended into some willows. I just, with this rifle by myself, it, I wouldn't go into anything that thick. If I had my, my lever, then it would be a different story. Or maybe somebody else with me, but it looks like that goat trail ends up weaving its way back up into these top blocks here. So I am hoping that I'm in this bear's core area because those, you, generally you can judge a bear's size based on the on the coils in their in their scat, right? And the coils in this one scat were almost the size of a pop cam. So it's a big bear. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, three piles, two very fresh. So hopefully we can put this together. I'm just, I had my puffy on underneath my outer jacket because I was sitting for two hours there. And it was a horrible idea for this climb. So I'm just stripping down. I'm gonna have a drink of water and then I'm gonna see if I can't, uh, if I can't find this guy. So hopefully if this is his core area, he's kind of making a circuit right now. I came in from down low and I didn't see any signs. So I'm hoping that he hooked a right and he came up into here. So that he's hopefully rummaging through these cut blocks here. Stay tuned, it may all come together yet. All right guys, I am gonna pull the plug on this guy for this evening. So I've tracked him up. I found two more piles of scat that were decently fresh. I tracked him up another, oh shoot, probably eight kilometers now. And it just it keeps going. <laughs> so at this point, I'm seven or eight kilometers from my bike, which has my pack frame and my kill kit on it. And then my bike is still another 5K from the truck. And I still have a two hour drive home. So I start making my way back down. I'm gonna still hunt on the way back down. I may get lucky and cross paths with them but I think we're just on the wrong we're on different tracks tonight but it's okay I know he's in there so I'm gonna focus on this area a little bit more doesn't always happen on the first go